Hello, hello everyone. Well, I bumped to that. We're muddling about. I'm muddling about. She's muddling about. I'm back. I was a little under the weather. Induced by libations. We're just going to leave it at that. Anyway, so today is the start of March's Mixed Media Masteries. And we're going to be getting into all kinds of techniques. Creating actual texture. Y'all know there's going to be some light and fluffy involved. Heck yeah. I don't know why you are so lit up. There we go. A little too much light on the subject there. Well, yeah, unless you're mm -hmm. reading it isn't this candlelight's preferable. All right, y'all, you know the deal. It's been a little bit. But um, do say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. Otherwise, I do not know that you were here. We like to know that you were here because we are a friendly bunch of already friends, especially these folks that are here in the chat that I've, you know, seen already. If you are new, do subscribe to the channel. Do all that YouTube business. You can find all that, like, kind of down below there. You know, do your thumbsy upsies as well while you're kind of figuring things out down there. Um, and then if you want to know more things, sometimes you can open up the description box and you'll find things. <laughs> Another person that's extremely helpful with that is the Nightbot that is here in our chat, usually prompted by one of our awesome moderators. There are a few of them. They have wrenches and they know how to use them. So there we yeah. go. Alrighty, let's say hello to everybody because that's one of those other things that we do each and every time. Poor Josh, he, he, he struggled through it. I, I know, and his little friends were hassling him. Did you see that? They wanted wrenches. Yeah. Got to earn a wrench. I, I knew that that wasn't happening. <laughs> I don't know that he knows how to give a wrench, but I, I, he might. I don't know. <laughs> he didn't know how to write his name underneath his, his picture. Yeah, that I have to set that up. But it's funny, though, that he, he changed it. I was just going to keep him as Mariah, because I did come up here and sort of, you know, like... <laughs> do this because brad was either gonna do it or then josh he called josh and josh came over thank goodness they live around the corner all right guys um not seeing a time okay good i was gonna like all right come on list there we go it's starting to fill up now i don't know why it has to think about things but we've got and bartender's daughter becky betty kathy darcy dana deb eddie erna estella glinda hello griffin shell that's Rhonda, jennifer ketra Lee, Lexi, Lydia, Maya, Ricky, Nordmeyer, Sherry Black Dog Designs, Shelly Kelly, love that. Silver Granny or Grumpy Gnome, that's Lynn. Pia just popped in there, and I think Lexi or Lydia. One of the L's moved. Anyway, uh, let's see. Star Traveler, that's Linda, Sue Davis, Suzanne Rivard. A little this and that popped in there. If I missed you, just give me the big pinky hello hand like Diane Olson and like Silver Granny did. Look at her giving them big old hellos to everybody. Yeah. Carla, hello. Okay, so let's get started, right? Um, announcements are just that this is the masteries thing, so I'm not going to go into, you know, the monthly things, but y'all know if you're part of the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group, that's where all of these lovely folks, well, many of them, not all, some people just don't want to be on Facebook, and I don't blame them. Some days I don't want to be either, because it, it takes up my time <laughs> and, and distracts me. It's, yeah, me too. I get, I get a little squirrely <coughs> over there. <coughs> And not like in a good squirrely way. I'm trying to get, you know, the right amount of light on you. Okay, so what do you want me to do? You want to go topside? What are we doing here? Well, I don't, you know, I'm, I was still muddling through this all, all day yesterday and on what we were, how we were going to do this today. And I, I'm not really sure that we've actually arrived at the, the proper, and, and the word mastery it's a mo mostly chosen because it it, it rhymed. It rhymes with Mark. It went with it, the M. Alliteration. It had an M in it. Uh, mayhem would have been. Mayhem would have been a lot more. Next year, May. Of the, um, I, I was not consulted on the title making. <laughs> but anyhow, I've got. Um, I, I I really want to find my uh, chrysanthemum. Oh. Stencil. Yeah. And, Did uh, you look in your flower folder? I mean, it's an old one, so I'd assume that it's actually, like, maybe filed away. It's a safe be. bet. Could be. Actually, could be. Foliage. Um, yeah. And I just, I, I just didn't get that far uh -huh. today. Yeah, she has her jello, not concrete shirt on yeah. today. I have my witchcraft one on. 
but it's going to be backwards, so, you know. And we should also say that uh, the scarves Sandy, are... Sandy, thank you. Yeah. Life at the Corner Castle, that's Debbie. Hello, Debbie. And I, pay, I, I decided that Mariah... Okay, here we go. Flowers. Mm -hmm. Well, there'll be something here that we can use. <clears throat> oh, here's Cecil. Hey, and if you want... Here's Cecil Burgers. Um, as a, I, I don't know if it was coincidental or if Eddie was thinking about this or not, but good job there, Eddie. Uh, if you want to know how to make some texture plates, he did that in a video. He made quite a few. Good, and then we didn't find mine. Yeah, we couldn't find hers. I think they're stuffed in a box somewhere in the deep, stuffy holes of things. In the stuffy hole. But we do have, we also have videos a long time ago, but Eddie has a more recent one, and he really kind of went through oh, it. Oh, good. Here's here's this one. This will be a good one. <laughs> I can get like it to with. recommend efficient videos. Get it Ours are not always efficient. <laughs> I busted up a... Yes. Pulling it apart because it got stuck to another thing. That's how I broke that stencil. Yeah. It and happens. I, I knew that I shouldn't do that. I, I should be gentle, but I, I was in a hurry. Mm-hmm. It's okay. So, the whole thing is, is don't hurry. All right, good. Here they are. Oh, my gosh. And this is this. wonderful. You're awesome, Mariah. Look, I've got those, and I've got that, and I've got this one. And let me tell you, I was very excited to hear multiple times P go, well, Mariah knows that. <laughs> I don't know. And then I, I, I watched without the chat because it hadn't rendered yet. So I don't know if y'all were dropping knowledge in the chat or not. But um, Some people were, but yeah. Josh was, he was being, he wasn't reading everything. He's well, a little out of practice. Bless his heart. And we did just kind of throw him into the, you know, did, hey, and, get your butt he, over here. He didn't get, he didn't, um, I'm not going to put that one in there because it's got some messed up parts on it. I didn't, I didn't prep talk him and tell him that he needed to, you know, liven up a little. What are those? That's well, remember, old. This, is, this is some of that stuff that we were testing out. That's how old the chrysanthemum, the, you know, blooms. I think that's what we call those. Yeah, and we... And, Hello, Alice! Uh, definitely, I don't know how those wash up. Wax paper between the stencils. I, Becky, you are just, you have way you more know, confidence in her know. abilities to maintain organization. <laughs> And see, I was creating. You know, I should leave that out because that's a, that's an. In, I I could create a. I know, and I always think, should I include those parts with people's orders? Those are They're great parts. ones, but people don't always this ask, is, and I'm like, this oh, is, I don't um. I, I no, I didn't. Silver Granny, um, Lynn, hello. <laughs> uh, I did have pho yesterday. And then I had this awesome, so there's this Mexican food restaurant um, that we go to pretty regularly. And they have this avocado soup that is amazing. And between that, um, between those two soups, I, I recovered pretty decently. But it did take a while. Well, you can see I've got yeah. quite a few daisies. And I don't, these are a little bit smaller. I should keep those out. Oh, Suzanne Rivers said, yes, Josh did awesome. His friends were not helpful. I, the little turds. Yeah. We may need to let him know that we might be blocking their little butts. Yeah, in the future. Yeah. If the, they think that this is just a big joke. Yeah, and, and hey, by the way, so um, Darcy, Eddie, Mo, any of my mods, Deb C, if, um, if in the future those, those kids, those pesky little kids do show up and they're being disruptive, just block them. I, I mean, we can I turn them back on that. if... if if not, but yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, that is not gonna hurt my feelings, and I don't know that. I mean, Josh might get a little razzing from him about it, but yeah. Okay, I think I've. <laughs> like he says, Josh was being harassed at his place of work. <laughs> <laughs> he, he hasn't submitted anything to HR, but you know. Okay. I've got it back in its right spot next to leave. Okay, you want me to go topside now? Yes. I okay. could have gone topside. You know, they would have loved to watch me. Oh, fumble around and fumble pick those around apart. And, and look. Sorry, guys. I didn't know you're going to miss out on that. Okay, well, we're going to try some things that I haven't done before today. We're going to do some things I have done before. I drug out everything that I had that resembled any kind of texture paste. Yes. <clears throat> and... All right, I'm just going to store these over here. Let's talk about yesterday first, since that's kind of... 
Oh, and I did want to talk about this because we're going to dis discriminate, discern between uh, actual and visual. Yeah. And we're going to do visual texture on when? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Seems oh, there, natural. There you go. All right. So this is visual texture, but I actually achieved this with my little rolly thing, remember? It's here on the card somewhere. Yeah. I don't know what happened to the other one. It fell down in here somewhere. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I, I'll have to find it because I think it's really quite remarkable. Oh, your little roller thing. Yeah. Well, did you keep it on the paint? There. Oh, your other one. Yeah, the other one. What's it on? I don't know. But I did find the leaf and put it in the package on the... Well, oh, was it stuffed down in between some things? Um, can't remember where it was. It was someplace it shouldn't be. Mm-hmm. All right, but we'll talk about more about that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, my brain's a little bit on the... Good job, Deb. Good job. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that when I... Is it showing up, Mariah? Yes. Okay. This is done with, and I'll have to borrow Mariah's because it's a small, it's a skinny. <laughs> Hers wouldn't be drawn. It's skinny and all, so I can draw it. So this one was drawn with mine. <laughs> Mouth. As opposed to this one. If you want but detail fine work versus. The, the wonderful thing about the gl art glitter glue is it is waterproof once it dries. I mean, now sometimes that's kind of a pain in the duty because it doesn't take paint once it um but we're gonna test that out play so, around with that a little bit because yeah our thought was maybe to get it on the gel plate because we know it's gonna it, it's gonna give some impression or yeah yeah we just don't know exactly you know is it gonna take up more or leave it back exactly now i i kept this one out because remember mm -hmm. yesterday we were dealing with the um unforeseen problem i didn't know I knew some of those paints were open because I could still read it on the thing, but some of them had covered the right the disclaimer label of seconds and everything had covered up all the relevant information. So um, I didn't I didn't know until we used them, and then definitely I think they're all all of them that I used are open. Yeah, I do have a couple that I really want to get back into because I have bone black and I have carbon black in the thicker. And I don't have any of that. Oh, she would love that, Alice. Um, so we'll we'll talk about that as far as uh, line making. That's yeah. what we're going to use for line making on uh, whatever day. But this already has a wonderful texture on it, and I thought it would be so cool to do some of the glue business Ooh. on this, and then. Um, go ahead and gel plate over the top of it kind of like I did this so that's we're gonna do that today and voila look what we found remember us talking about this and we said hey we have this great example this almost a chart I mean it's not it, like it, um, it's, it's might not yeah and this underneath here is swatches of brush up yes so what's interesting is if you will look here's light and fluffy turns kind of pink mm -hmm. the molding I paste golden it. light really am i do i need there to you go. okay I'll, I'll just talk about them separately because i don't think i can there get both of them yeah, in the, in the thing and then the u.s art supply which i i don't even know that we have that but you can see the difference <laughs> we were kind of like where did some of this go <laughs> we don't know in in all of these and the the um i don't know what i did with that but i don't like it as well as light and fluffy you may but have used it all i may have used it all i mean seriously this is two if not three years ago yeah there's a video yeah okay here's the uh finibear which we were like where did that go no idea i, I have no idea don't know and here's the golden. I like the golden. Light mo molding paste. And I, I was reading about it, and it's got some other use. My least fa favorite was the Ranger because it just went. Well, it's transparent. Remember, it was supposed to, like, but that's it, what it was. It, it doesn't have any, it does very little lock. It doesn't hold, yeah. 
it doesn't hold that thing. And the thing that about the finnebear, as you can see, it kind of creeps under mm. under the little lip. You don't notice it so much up there, but you notice it down here. It pulls into the edges. Pulls into the edges. It's not that crisp thing that hey, Renee. You, you might want. But um, the golden holds up nicely mm -hmm. and has a nice Hi, finish to it. Good loft. But it still isn't as Hi, Lisa. good as the light and fluffy overall. It just really isn't. Now, the thing that Golden recommends you do with the molding paste, if you want to make your transparent colors opaque, they suggest using the molding paste. Hmm. But mixing it oh. really well over on, on the side. I she found know. her information. She's been reading up oh, on yeah, things. Oh, yeah. I've been it? reading up on it. No, and no. if you don't have this, see, I wrote down retarder, page 7. All of this information you can access on Golden's website. Yes. And I think that we have that listed in somewhere in our... Uh, well, like over in our blog and stuff, we've we've linked but it. But if you just, you know, Golden Artist Colors, Inc., type that in and it's going to send you over there. Yeah. This is well worth printing off. Mm -hmm. I, I received. See, gels and medium differences. Ooh. That's awesome, Carla. <sighs> Well, there's words in here that I don't, uh, yeah. There are words that I don't yeah. understand. <laughs> All right. Rheology. That sounds technical. It, it refers to the feel of paint. Oh, what's that word again? Rheology. Mm. On the other hand, refers to the syrupy quality of certain paints, gels, and mediums. Well, some, remember some of those that I was holding up? I said they were like syrupy. Honey. That one I can remember. The rheology yeah. may be a little harder to... Okay, so, reflectance. Okay, this is the sheen. Mm -hmm. Textural qualities. Um, over the years, many artists have wanted to add textures to their medium. Here's what we're going to do today. Sand, sawdust, and other gritty materials have been mixed with acrylic mediums. Problems arise from this, ranging from mm -hmm. impurities calling discoloration mm -hmm. to overloaded systems cracking and falling apart. The golden textural gels have been thoroughly researched and developed to ensure the status as archival products. Well, some of the things I'm going to be using today are definitely not archival. We will be altering be be beyond archival. Yeah. <laughs> now, here, here's the whole, whole thing. I mean, you know, if you're painting and you're painting on a board, mm -hmm. it's wood. Yeah. So, I figure my wood chips from my pencil sharpener at, uh, it's okay. That all tracks, right? <laughs> yeah. There, uh, and I don't have any of this this uh, pumice gels, but remember I've got... She's uh, got balls. I, That's basically I, I what those little balls. balls are. I have my, I've got them in my, my thing. My caseous iron oxide, and uh, it, it comes in a heavier duty version. I'm not sure that I'd be particularly <laughs> interested in that. Um, okay. Uh, it talks about all of this. I'm not going to talk because that's not doesn't have anything to do with what we're doing today. I'm trying okay. to get over here to my page seven. All right? No. I'm okay. Talks about retarders. Okay. And this is additional information back here. This other stuff that they sent me was this stuff, and it's you use this because it it lowers slows crazing. So does it's that make it low, not slow, low crazing. So this is what they you would use if you didn't want it to do the little thing here. All right. And I'm going to kind of play around with it on tomorrow on visual texture to see if oh, yeah, yeah. adding some of that to my mixes is going to make it look different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So <laughs> here, here's the funny, thing. Becky. They talk about they have listed each one and what it does, and this is where this is where it's really. Peggy, uh, we just printed out uh, some of the information from the Golden website, yeah. so you can find all this on Golden's website, like under their references yes. or resources or something like that. And here's individual Golden medium product descriptions: all the polymer gels and what they do and what they don't do. I mean, this is just 
And here's all the gacks. Gack. And they're just for specific use in specific situations. Now, I do, here's the 800. Yeah. Does not craze in pores and puzzle puddles. That is to say, it dries with the same uniform surface and dimensional integrity as when wet. Other gacks will craze, developing shrinkage mm -hmm. crevices running across the surface. Dries with good gloss and flexibility, but only moderate clarity. Useful to increase adhesion to chalky surfaces. Mm -hmm. Adhesion. So, yeah, I mean, and I've got also got 900 in um, one of the little... Mm -hmm little jars. Okay, I just wanted to tell you about that. Oh, Rick and, this is, Ricky says GAC is also good for priming wood panels to pre prevent whatever is in the wood that would discolor the painting. Oh, Very good wow. information. See, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Mariah, I'm going to let you put that back in the book because I think that would be a better place. It's a place better place, yes. Than over Because that's where we always go to look for things. And then random. It random happened things. that those were in there too. Okay, I'm going to give these back to her. She can put those in the books also. <laughs> Because I think that's where it was. It was, and I was very pleased to find that because we had been looking for it. And I think what was hap what had happened is we did find the the journal, and then we were like, well, let's just take those out and put them in with all of our, you know, this is our big old mixed media artist acrylic paint, but it's really beyond that. It's like everything that we've kind of tested before ends up here, unless it's the big comparison charts. Yes, big comparison charts, aren't they? Those end up on the shelf. Right. Yeah. Okay, so what I I really um, I love about Golden and thanks, Deb. Is this chart free, Mariah? Do you have to pay for it? Uh, depends on. Um, okay, so I know that I got s s one or two or th some free at one point from somewhere that I ordered from, maybe Jackson's or something like that. And then Jackson's has them for sale. But then the problem with Jackson's was that they had gone all screwy with their. I don't know if they have sorted out their shipping because they started doing something at one yeah, point. Yeah, we just stopped ordering from them because it I was did, ridiculous. Because it was it was like way more than the entire order. And it was like a pretty decent amount of an order that we would place. So it was like, all right, guys, you got to get this worked out because it, it ain't good. Anyway, so you can order these from some of the different places. I just can't remember if it was like Blick or Jerry's Artorama or Joe's. But some of the you know, and we supply places actually sell these, and they're like a dollar, dollar fifty, or something like that. But we have a few of them, and you can see, you can see uh, down here, you can see the iridescent colors. Yeah. Now, um, that kind of reminds me. So, just real quick, uh, I want to do um, three giveaways today of the gel plates. Uh, that's going to be for our two loverlies and one mucky muck. I have those on, or I have it queued up for the lit, for the big spinny wheel. So we'll be doing that here in a little bit. Um, but I also want y'all to just kind of keep in mind that we are gearing up for, we're going to skip 9,000. Like we're just going to hopefully like, you know, roll through that. It's been slow anyway. Like it's just been painfully slow. I don't know what the deal is. Could just be the time of year. It gets a little weird. Um, but we will be doing a huge giveaway when we hit our 10,000 subscribers. We have paint out the wazoo. I don't know if she, you know, you saw some of that yesterday. Um, but there's duplicates and there's more paint than she would be able to use before it, you know, dries up. Well, I don't yeah, know, some I of it may not dry up because it is all box, sealed up, but of it. still, I don't, we don't know where to put it. Has no I did help. not know that we were gonna send this much stuff and this large of um, containers of things. I really just didn't anticipate that. But um, we also have, and, and then I'll probably talk to Gel Press again, um, because it'll be a little ways before we get to 10. I, I mean, unless some awesome thing, you know, crazy awesome thing happens, um, and we just, you know, trend or take off. But, you know, yeah. hey, thumbsy upsies, y'all. Those do help. Subscribe to the channel. Tell, tell your friends about us. Share it and like it and love it and do it again and again. Okay, well, anyway, I just wanted to show you this chart. But we have some of these, and we'll be putting those. We have books. We have, because um, Golden sent us books that have information about color and, like, really technical information. She was like, yeah, I'm not really interested in that. But they uh, sent us two books. So, somebody might use it, but I'm not. Yeah, she ain't into it. Uh, I, it's not the kind of information I, 
I need. Because it's more like, it really is more technical about it's, like it's mixing. scientific. Yeah. And yeah. she's like, doop de doo no. <laughs> I know a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And then I'm going to look at it and did and, I get close? <laughs> and uh, then, then I'm going to just get the paint out and see what happens. Okay, I don't know why this little edge was folded over here. I don't know. This is how you gave it to me. But it was just making me crazy. I don't want it. Okay, let's move on and get some Ow. art started and some texture on a plate. All right, let's, let's get some stuff going on here. Mm -hmm. All right, I, I need your glue. And hopefully it's it's full. Uh, and I, think... I didn't ask Izzy if I could do this, but I'm pretty... She gave it to me, so once she gives me something... That's the rule up here. Um, I think she'll be fine with it. Okay, so I get. She, she said, "Gigi, I really, I, I really want to paint." And you know, she always does it. The most oh my god, uh, Brad! I asked. I was like, "What is Izzy doing?" He's like, "Well, she went upstairs to go watercolor." Her and Gigi are on the ta same time schedule because they like to get <laughs> all crafty at you know eight, ten o'clock at night. Nine. It wasn't. That it late. wasn't ten o'clock, but <laughs> yeah, it was way past. But she cleaned. She and Popsy cleaned her bedroom. Well, I the rest cleaned. of it. They put stuff away, and it looks so marvelous. But she, okay, and I'm, I can tell you right now, she's getting a little rough with my brush. Uh-huh. Um, Hi, Julie. But, Hi, uh, Tina. And I Hi, said, Bruha. Izzy, um, what, what is this? This isn't, Hi, I, I don't know that this is very interesting, but it might be conceptually. Can you tell me what your thoughts are? Mm. She said, well, if I had better watercolors, I could make better colors. Because I made her use the old <laughs> student watercolors because I didn't feel like and I mean she's hard on them yeah. but those little tiny delicate wonderful watercolors that I have she'd probably go through those in one session because she's pretty big on the water <laughs> so anyway I said well tell me about this she says well it's water and fire and I'm like well yeah, there you go there you go so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use this because I think it is some kind of watercolor paper. I don't think mm -hmm. it's really terribly. Hi, Ellen. Terribly. Yeah, sometimes that gets a little crammed in there. We'll stick it right up there. And really, you just have Thanks, to get Abby. something going here. Okay, she told me this was water. Oh, there so you go. we're just going to do some wavy stuff here. And what, what, you know, what you keep in mind when you're, you're doing this kind of work is that it really helps if you get a design that you can just continue moving along with. Because if you pick up your little hoop-de-doo. You, you won't match it up, and if, even if you did, it's going to get blobby. and You just, you know, have some kind of design that's going all the way across. Then you can come back in if... If you start a new line, be and start a new line, and but see how it leaves the little blobby thing. Hi, Sarah. This is um. Oh, look at that! I like those little marks. <laughs> so just says just like quilting. <laughs> Kinda, I think once you start a line, it's that like you gotta be committed. Be committed, okay. <laughs> All right. So we've got water on that side. Now we're gonna do fire on this side, mm -hmm. which you know might be a little bit like splashing water. I don't know. I'm I'm trying to make flames here. Y'all, help me out. You yeah, know. you're doing a great job. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Because I think once you see that it 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 does make a difference and it captures the watercolor. And even though it's not necessarily you can yeah. go cross lines, you can make it as heavy or as light as you want it. And and I'll I'll bring in my, my fat stuff here in a minute. It's <laughs> like what I really I need here is the fat. Fire know. requires a, a fat nib. All right, what did I do with my Brody board here? Uh, the other day, I apologize. I had this one out here when I was doing 
my crocheting, and I was like horrified. I don't mm -hmm. know why you didn't say something, Mariah. About what? Crocheting on top of this board, and you couldn't see a lot of the. Oh well, I guess it didn't really register. That I, it didn't bother me, and you know, if it didn't bother me, <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty high bar of. Okay, so this is going to this dries fairly rapidly. I mean, that's one of the good things about. Uh, the glitter glue. Glitter glue. I mean, half of that already is. Like, it looks transparent. Yeah. And on the little heavier spots, it's going to take a minute. But All right. So, you are, oh, and look, I pulled off my <clears throat> brayer. Isn't that great? Y'all saw that the other day. Yesterday. That's the other day. Can you see that shimmer of that coppery stuff in there? That looks fabulous. Isn't that great? Figure out something really Mount cool that. Do. Yeah, mount that. <laughs> okay. So, y'all know about this. Y'all remember those? This is black texture paste. Right? Yes. Okay. That is correct. Black texture paste. Yeah. Uh, De uh, Deb would like you to know, tell Queen P that we were watching her crochet and not worried about the de the backdrop. I added some. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then someone said, okay, today's Monday, right? Yesterday was Sunday. Yes. Uh, I'll tell you, this is what happens. I, I, I love that baby. And she's decided that she wants to be independent and she wants to, uh, she's, she's working on her mother buying her bunk beds for her bedroom. Her parents. Her parents. And <laughs> she's, so she tried to sleep in her own bedroom last night, but she only lasted and I love that we decided to an like... hour and a half and she came and she so sweet and tapped me real gently and said, Gigi, would it be all right if I slept with you for a while? I got kind of scared in my bedroom all by myself. I said, of course, darling. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> Just jump right in here. And oh, she she has a hot little body. And when she's right up, and she likes to be, like, mm -hmm. touching. Yeah. Glued to you. And I was hot, and I kept moving her over and whatever. Yep. Now, we don't have, did we put the eye sinks? No, they're on, they moved they're, to the top shelf. Yeah, because they're okay. little shorties. The reason I have these out here is because when you do... Um, do one of the textury things. You can use those little eye sinks. Oh yeah, I see them. So that way you can show them. And, and paint with them. I don't even, do they still sell these? I don't know. Again, we've had these forever. And there are products that are similar. Yeah, and there are. And I, I think that they just had a, a run on nail polish jars. Mm -hmm. And they thought, well, if we put some paint in there, those people out there are buying it. Sure yeah. enough, they did. I did. Now, I will tell you, sometimes the it gets stuck in there, and you have to really bear down to get it out. Like it, it, it leaves it, the little it, brush tip in. It gets stuck with the brush tip I in. I think that's happened with nail but, polish. But, you know, before. no worries. Yeah. I will. This is very opaque, but you can water it down. I just like it because you can instantly paint over... Yeah. little areas and we'll we'll do some more of that and uh, it's just handy dandy handy I, I don't know that it's something that you absolutely have to have because no. you could make up your own but um, with some of this stuff you know loosey goosey your gack and, and put a little uh, white in there and it'll mm -hmm. opaque on you and you can just paint it living oh, hey, out of it no worries. Okay, these are the colors that they have. And I went over it with white so you can see what happens. Hey, Margie. Anyway. I think pink pigments. Okay, uh, well, before you get started on anything, should we just go ahead and do the giveaways now, or do you want to do them towards the end? No, go ahead, and I'll, I'll make a little transition here with getting my um, Okay, I kind of felt like that that was stuff a, a, good, ready. a good deal. Because I think we did, I think the glue thing is good. Okay, now, here's going to be the dealio. If you are here and you are a Loverly or Mucky Muck member, yay, that's awesome because you will get to pick which size plate you want. If you are not here, I will pick it. <laughs> I figured that that was, you know, good good reason to show up for things or whatever. I think most people probably don't necessarily mind, but I figure if you're here, there should be a benefit to that. And um, that is the benefit so, let's see here. I gotta pull up my list and gotta pull up the other thing and then I'll turn it on. 
I think I already have us queued up for our Loverlies, and there's gonna be two of those. Oh, and I'm gonna turn down the brightness so that way it doesn't make me look so crazy. Okay, boop, 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 boop. I need to just verify that I did grab the right list. <laughs> okay, yes. Very good, all right, I have ours. And basically all we did was do the first name and last initial. Um, from our Loverly people over on our Artie Perks over on the website. Um, it was kind of nice whenever it was all tied into YouTube, but you know, there's always disadvantages and advantages to everything in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okie dokie. So here are our Loverly members. I am going to spin. Boop. Well, that's awesome. So we will get, um, we will get, because I don't think Evie's here, but I will check in with her and see which one she wants of what's left over, because that's the other thing. So I'm going to, I mean, oh, I'll yeah. still let her pick, but if you're here, you're here and you get to pick, but you know, if you're not here, it is what it is. So that's our first one, Abby P. Awesome. Is she here by any chance? Y'all could holler if, if one of y'all wants to holler at her. Um, okay, let's, uh, oops, we need to remove Abby. Hold on. Delete, delete, there we go. This is what I love about the wheel. The wheel's very easy to use. And that one was right there on the edge. <laughs> All right, Dana. I think Dana is here. And let's see. I'm going to. Oh, there we go. I'm so hide have, that for a second. They have to contact you through the um, the instant message thing on the side. Mom. Well, I have their email. Like with, th with this group of people, because they are members, I have all their uh -huh. information. So I can email people and let them know, hey, you won. Um, this is what I have left over if you want to pick it. Um, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, while well, cheering for the winners, and we got one more to pick, but I wanted to see if, uh, if Dana is still here. I know she was a little bit earlier, but then, I don't know, some people said they had to go do things. So, Dana, if you're still here, let us know. Um, otherwise I will pick for you, but let's go ahead and get, uh, rolling with our... <clears throat> oh, all right. You go ahead, Brad. Had to, I, I gotta go talk to Brad for a sec. Okay. All right. So, have I got, oh yeah, here they are. I, I, you know the glass glass bead gel because it's so heavy. These really are. These really are glass beads in embedded in uh, like a polymer medium, and. You can see, a, see, I put a little bit on there, but they have actual, actual texture. And I'm, I'm very interested in doing this on the watercolor paper that Mariah has, has um, prepared over there. So we're gonna do some of that. But right now, what I really want to do here, <clears throat> some of these I've made from this is coffee and modeling paste. Obviously, there's some kind of pigment in there. I, this is brown butter and glass bead paste. I did order some of my own glass beads. Hopefully, this is still malleable. <laughs> yeah, it is. I is might it? have to. I might have to. You know, roll it up. It's still squishy. Still it's squishy. not necessarily what I would term spreadable, but. Um, Squish. Yeah, yeah, squishy. I, I think you can, it, if it's still squishy, you can still resolubilize, and I'll show you how to do that. Right. It's not going to do that. Okay, that's that. This is coffee, mo more coffee modeling paste. And then, of course, we have our little little balls. I didn't even get big balls out because, <laughs> I mean, seriously, I do not know what you're going to do with those. But if you think of something, you let me know. 
Here's the same stuff in the gold mica flakes large. This is the silver mica flakes, well, small, but they took away the label, so right. you just have to take my word for it that that's what they look like there. And I don't know if that's going to pull through a stencil or not. Don't oh, good. Know. There is Dana. Dana, what size plate do you want? I have, there's one 12 by 12. There are, uh, I have an eight by 10, five by seven. I have one round one, eight inch. You have them available to like give them Look, a, to a have gander? a little gander at, yeah. Um, I am saving the small, smaller plates for the international because A, that's, I can ship it more easily and that just is what it is, so. Um, so but, there's a big one. Yes, there's one big one. Okay. Here are going to be the choices. I'm going to hand those over to Pete. I don't know if she has room. <laughs> well, uh, careful. Uh, all right. Now, I really wanted this round one. She did, and that's what started her being all mad at me because she really. And I'm like, how often are you going to use it? I gave away my other round one. You did. Because really you didn't use it. Me. I can't remember what the occasion was. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, this one is five by seven. I love my five by seven. I, I really do love my five by seven. Of course, this is eight by ten. Use use the bejesus out of that. And I didn't think I would like the twelve by twelve, but I use my twelve by twelve all the, the most. time. And I don't necessarily use the whole area of it, but it's really nice that you've got that little. Take bit first. that's off. So, what's it going to be, girl? Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. She says, thanks. Okay, congrats to Evie, too. Yep, and then... Itchy nose. I had another sneezing uh -huh. attack this morning. Okay, putting those back over there. Okay, good deal. Um, before you go any further, I'm just going to go ahead and turn on, because um, we're going to do the mucky muck. And then that will be today's giveaways. And then tomorrow we'll start tapping into the big list. Um, yes. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And then we'll see, you know, how far we get or all of that business. Okay, turn on the wheel. Let's turn the wheel back on. All right, this is our mucky muck list. And I will spin away. So did everybody tell you what they wanted or they haven't? Tisha M. All right, Tisha. I got to write that down because I don't know that she's here and I will reach out to her. Okie dokie. Awesome. Are we done? We're done. The wheel's easy. All right. Now, we're going to talk more about... Uh, lines and textures and I, I wanted to go ahead and do this because I want to have this one ready to go to do the line thing. Um, Bruja, are you Tisha? How do I not know that? And then did Dana say what oh Dana wants that twelve by twelve. <laughs> oh Al Alice oh, says a PM artist studio if someone a broad Wednesday gel plate you may want to check the cost of buying from Amazon instead of shipping one of yours it could be cheaper that's true tis a thought uh, yeah because I have international separated out I think for the most part if somebody told if they told me they were international at you know during our international one I then was able to sort of pull those out and then um I still have, like, tonight what I will do is grab those last few streams worth of comments and get those integrated into my big old list because it's going to be huge. And we're going to do the wheel. That was one of the reasons I wanted to pull them out like that, even though it's a little more time-consuming for me. I like doing the wheel versus the one-picker thing. I just think the wheel's more fun. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I want to talk about these two stencils here. This would be what I call a line stencil. This is a true stencil that you stencil through, right? Everybody gets how these are different. This 
this one here makes for a marvelous flop off. You know? Yeah. And we talked about one of the things, and Mariah said, you really need to emphasize that because you were, you were kind of, well, I was bummed out because I thought the paints that I was using would be dry and we could do different things with them. I, had I known they were open, I would have saved them for a later date because I've got a whole open project to do with um, when we start mark making and lines and whatnot. This is a wonderful, wonderful stencil to use for that. And it got kind of crunched up in the... So what I'll do is I'll, I'll um, have Mariah give it a little shot with the heat gun and put mm -hmm. it underneath the thing and it'll go flat. Because it needs to be flat. I'm going to pick up paint, and I've got bone black and I've got um, carbon black in the open, and I will be able to get these this line design onto my paper, just like this. Very nice. Okay? All right, now, I'm going to use it today, and then I'm going to have Mariah take it in and put it immediately into the, um, so I can scrub it with the, the scrubber. Scrubby scrub. Scrubber. Scrub it. I thought that this would be really informative. <laughs> Want me to get it? Um. Hello, Trisha Dewey. Okay, I just need to, And hi, know, Remy. Pop, pop, pop the seal. Pop, pop. Well, maybe we need to do a little more popping. <laughs> it's a little more convincing. <laughs> And that, what happens is I didn't clean that off and see where it's stuck. Mm hmm And remember, it's glue. Anything that's... Mm hmm Okay, okay so uh, really quick, because I knew some people were probably going to ask about this. This little flower bloomy one is a PM Artist Studio special. That means it has to be, like, by special request. Which means if you place orders over $60 and you request this, I will hook you up. Is that this one that I'm using or this one? That one. The one you're putting paste on right now, that is blo um, cherry blossoms in the little 5x7 version of it. And it also comes in um, the 8x10 and 9x12. The one that has the red paint on it right there, that is the PM Artist Studio Special. And yes, if you place an order over $60 and you request it, I will give it to you. Well, there you go. There you go, folks. There you go. But it's never in our shop. It's for those of you that show up to live streams and know to ask for it and, you know, spend that certain amount of money. Some of y'all got it for free just back in the day. That's right. No such thing as too many flower stencils. It's true. Okay. Hey, yeah. Big Mopar. You can come back and clean up your edges, and which I'm going to do a little bit of. I'm not going to get totally anal about it. Yeah, don't do that. I'm just going to get off a lot of the... I do, I want that, that I want my um, line there where the edge is. Uh, it's just the PM flowers. And see, it's already started drying up. You don't want to wait to do this cleanup until, uh -uh. you know. Especially you, when you it's want to get after it. Yeah, right and when away. it's really thin, it's going to dry I'm pretty quick. Try, trying to buff it out a bit so that it's not a real stark line there. Yeah. You kind of messed up. All right, Mariah, I'm handing this to you. If you would be so kind. Now, this is another one of those delicate ones. You, when you pull it off, yeah, you want to make sure that you're not yanking at it like I am prone to do when they get stuck together. Yeah, you kind of sort of try to come at it from all direct, like you do a little bit here and a little bit here, and that's the best kind of technique. That's, and isn't that, I, I just, I mean, you can see right now, I think it's really cool. But then we're gonna do some other things to it. And I, I, I really, I could have done this beforehand, and I took away my Ecky board, so I'm gonna have to bring it back. 
let that dry. And uh, we'll do some other things with this. Okay, I need to put that someplace where I'm not mucking about with it. All right. Now, this is going to give me, or the other one I was focused on, it was focused on lines. It's providing you with linear quality images. This is going to give you the positive space of the flower rather than the negative space mm -hmm. of the flower. And I'm just going to do a couple Yes, Candy, here. I did. Bruja, I got you down for the round plate. Uh, and Lisa, uh, what is the charge for the special? Uh, no charge. Just, you get that for free. Place an order of $60 more and ask for it. Because really the only people that know about it are ones that show up to live streams or watch our videos. And I figure that that's kind of a, a cool way for people to just be a part of what we do. But this one is never being sold in the shop. Okay. Um, <laughs> get yeah, my the, pro the problem with this is you, you do want to get after it right away. And I really, I, I should have done this one at the top. But I, I think I can make it work. This is that paper that I did the um, golden open on, and I can't remember what it was called. The, the name of the paint, but I'll look it up. It's, it's a very cool, a very cool um, paint. I'm just trying to get the whole little flowers here, not the half flowers that I cut off there. And uh, this was this was on the floor, and it scared the crap out of me. I thought it was a snake. <laughs> oh, it's from flowers. Yes. I was like, should I touch it? Should I poke at it? I don't know. Did the cat bring a a snake? It's possible. It certainly is. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to leave those over there. They look like floating petals. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then the, the little ones, that's blooms, or AKA chrysanthemums, but nobody knows how to spell it, including myself. Always have to. I have to look it up. It's like mm -hmm. squirrel and giraffe. Yeah. You never remember how to spell those two. Yeah, squirrel's hard. Thank God for spell check. Okay. Yeah. Well, cleaning that up just a little bit because I don't want to. Oh. This stuff dries really fast. Okay. Send one. me an email, Lisa. What? And I really, I kind of need for you to maybe wash those, Mariah, and bring them back. Oh, you want them back? Okay, I can do that. If, if you don't mind. And, and that plexiglass plate is what you place them on to scrub them. Okay. Okay. These should hopefully be dry by the end of our stream here so that we can, you know, do some other things. Okay. Now. We've got some watercolor paper back here. And I know, know it seems kind of weird that I'm talking about the watercolor paper, but what we're going to do is all week, we're going to do things on these pieces of watercolor board. And then we're going to hopefully cut them up and make ATCs like the last day or something. That's the plan. We all know sometimes how that goes. And, uh, all right. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Uh, it is necessary to clean those right away. I, I think I've said that before, but uh, it, it, it's, it's worth worth repeating. Okay, I've got another one here. And, I, Mariah, would this be the size they would receive? Yes. This one right here. Mm -hmm. This is the actual yeah, because we had some variations of it. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. So it might be slightly different, but, you know, you're going to get something that's like this and it's, you know, free. Yeah. <laughs> and this was created from a uh, kneaded eraser stamp. Yes. And you will have seen this, like, if you have any, um, most of our digitals, our printable packs of papers designs, incorporate this, that flower, somewhere in it. But we have never sold the stencil just because and you can tell right here okay I, I haven't been very mm -hmm. um, diligent hi Gerald 
diligent about um, keeping it clean. No, you don't get it with all the color on it, no. <laughs> that, that, that. I'll, I'll wipe and spanking new. Oh, I'm trying to find one of those pokey tools that... A pokey tool that I can use to get... Okay, here. That, this isn't fun. All right, see right here? Where this has started to clog up? That's why I had Mariah go and wash up those right away. Because very obviously, I didn't do a real bang-up job on that. And so I've got some closures here. Yeah, we'll build up. That's old build up. Old build up. <laughs> These have been well used, and and I can sit here and fiddle with this. And, but and I would rather you not do that and just move along and you know get to get to the more okay. texture. But I just want to show them that you know it's not the end of the world if that happens. You no. can fix it. Yeah. Hey Trish. And uh, it, it isn't the end of the world. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, now, the one thing that I don't have out here that I do use is the butter. Y'all know about the butter. Yes. The butter will give you texture. texture. But I, I've used that. We're going to use things that are a little bit different. I don't that. really think it matters on this, which side, because I've, I've already mucked up everything. <laughs> here is modeling paste, U.S. Art Supply modeling paste. Oh, that's what happened to it all. It all got mixed in with things. Could be. And then I had a tube of cadmium red light 23-7 craft tint, and it was an old tube, and I knew if it wasn't used that it was going to go away because it was very old. But it, that's expensive paint. So I mixed it in with the... And so what we're going to do here is we're going to take a little bit of this. And we're going to, I don't like that flower because it's mucked up. Let's use these. You can mix this um, modeling paste with any of your Okay, now we got a little I think that's fine. Monkey stuff. I'm not going to try to take that no. off because at this point it would just make it more obvious. Yes. And especially on the black. Um, especially on the black. Because what will happen is it just sort of bubbles up the surface too. Like if you get it a little too wet or if you try to scrape it or then it just roughs up the edge. Just, just pretend like you wanted it that way. It's best. Okay. I'm going to hand that to you, Mariah. I'm afraid that I'm running out of room yeah, over that's here. Yeah, that's fine. I got I just need... I really, I really like that. Hey, and lot. you want it... Here. You want to show that off? Because, look, it's pretty much dry. It's a little sticky. It's a little tacky. But... See? Now you don't see anything there. That's going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun. I... I I think, and I might even have Izzy to go ahead and do that because that that might be fun for her. Okay, I've got this little little card here, and I thought this would be kind of fun. To go okay, ahead Becky, and get some orange flowers on here. Those of you that have come in, do say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. Otherwise, we do not know that you are here. We like to know that you are here, and if you haven't given those thumbs the upsies, please do. It's very helpful. I'm very much appreciated. Ooh. Now, because this is a painted surface and it has stuff on it, uh -huh. I can, you know, if I get after that right away. Although you're spreading, the, the orange is spreading a little. Red, orange is spreading, but at least, you know, it's, um, cadmium is a staining color. What does that mean? That means that even after you use it. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Hey, watch your paper there. You got more. This is how it starts. <laughs> okay. Can we hold that one? You're making me very nervous. You need to stop wiping. I need to stop wiping? Uh-huh. You just need to shoot. You're one wipe away from really messing things up. 
<laughs> one wipe what well we're going to do some more we're going to do some more gel plating on top of this so not to worry okay now I need to do something with my um, I'm just going to take a piece of paper here and you would be absolutely amazed how much you're going to get off of this well now you have it Eddie the thing about this stencil this kind of tricky is there's a lot of little grabby points out there grabby points y'all understand what grabby points mean flippies catchers catchers <laughs> catchers Okay, Abby says she wants an 8 by 10 That is a good choice. Yes, I think it is, is also a good choice. You got a little crazy there in your last swipe, but it's all good. All good. All right, Mariah, I'm going to let you take this away and put it in. I think I've got about all of it I can possibly get off of there okay. with scraping. I might be able to do some more with um, uh, whatever, but you can see we've got, we've got actual texture there. So when we cut, and I don't know what kind of paper this is. I just grabbed something over here. Colored modeling paste and once it's dry you can you can cut it you can do all kinds of stuff with it okay I'm not going to try to wipe those up because it's not going to do any good anyway okay the ones that I did on the green paper are already dry enough that I can put something on top of them well I'm glad I got that before I got that all over my arm gracias sure nice to have a sous chef to clean up your stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this as clean as possible here. I want it to be nice and pristine when I do watercolor. Yes. Okay. Basically, we're not doing any watercolor today, but we are going to do stuff on watercolor Color paper. paper so that we have it prepped and you can see some things. Um, I am going to just do plain watercolor. Do we have two days of watercolor or just yes, one? Yes, two. Okay, good. But let me tell you something. You've kind of promised people something. Let me. What let me did tell I you. promise? So, uh, I on. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember these things. So, Thursday. Wait, day one is um, the new graphite watercolors and papers. Oh. And then day two is brushes and finding rock treasures under the water. Now I can change those. We could just go, things are going to become just watercolor. <laughs> but uh, you wrote this list out. See, this is what happens when Eddie, planning. It's Eddie. We collected grabby points in high school PE. <laughs> we don't, I don't even want to know what that means. It sounds terrible. Well, okay, I, did, now, I guess it depends on is, who's grabbing and who's getting grabbed. <laughs> this is one of those things. Uh, I'm, I'm doing white, uh, white, white, white and fluffy on white paper. And it's really just not all that interesting. So, um, I mean, it can be, but... Um, it usually just not at this stage. Gen generally speaking, it's not terrible. But luckily, your, your little um, things are pretty mucked up there, so, like, it... Yeah, Visually. they're showing, you, you can at least see through the uh -huh. where, where it's going. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is, here okay, I don't even know what this is, but I'm going to open it up and see if I can figure it out. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> she sniffed it. It's I sniffed it. It's pencil Pencils. sharpener shavings in, and this is probably what happened to the USA yeah. All right. Now, this is not a very good candidate for this no, particular. No, I was about to say that. Not at all. Um, this is for something that you want. This is more of a, a just lay it on and spread it like frosting. 
kind of, kind of is. And <laughs> you want that sort I've, of texture. How I've used this in the past, because you I can know. see, you can see the textures there mm -hmm. of of the of the pencil sharpeners. Um, you know the Shavings. actual wood part. And I mean, you can just get some interesting stuff. You can mark in it. So that my, you know, I mean, you might think that that was a, a grove of trees. I don't know. You can um, get it as thin as you need it. Just have. Um... Mm -hmm. Anyway. Texture, y'all. Texture. texture. Real texture. Real? Also, sort of really dangerous texture because those little you know, pencil shavings are basically little splinters waiting to happen. So they are. Just, you know. You don't want to be running your finger over <laughs> this the This is not one them. you want to be, you know, doing a lot of touching on. Now, <laughs> what I did do with this, and I should do that. Because I did, um, mm -hmm. I did a cover. I did a cover for a book. Remember that, Mariah? And I mean, I, it ended up, I gone over it so many times that you really couldn't tell gonna, what was happening. I don't remember you using. It was early on. I can even find the book for you. Oh. But I had used one of my stencils that I made out of. This is if you want actual rocks. With fibery things in them. With, yeah, moss. I've got to hold it, hold it up. <laughs> All right. I, 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 now, Here, that needs to be wiped off multiple times with a paper towel. Don't put that down the sink, Mariah. No. I, I have a bin. I don't ever do it in the sink. Okay, good. Good, then, good, good. All right. That's, I don't know. It may have been light and fluffy because it's in that jar. I, I don't know. I'm going to hold it up and you can actually see the texture of the splinters there. Yeah. Okay, that was fun. Okay, what do we have next here? We have glass bead paste with brown butter. And that is, um, and again, this one's a little on the stiff side, but I think you can get the idea. Can you hear it? There you go. Alright. And I'm really pushing down to get it onto the surface of the... little warning about this here stuff um you want to kind of have it on yeah you don't want to be using your guillotine cutter or any kind of cutter afterwards because it really number one it's a horrible sound number two it will probably screw up the blade because just we know so i i don't know what we'll do with that but anywho <laughs> something something I don't I don't know that I want to use that on my gel plate so this definitely might be just mm, a yeah. brushing a brushing experience yes um, or bring it back with the watercolor to yeah change up some color I, I don't know or uh, it's great to create texture like that and then come back in like when we do our our last two days of collage, you collage over it because then well, you can actually when cut can, that shape out and glue it down. Well, that, that or yeah. glue things on top of it, so then it like holds the texture and stuff. But then you can do different things with it, and it's yeah. contained. And, and it's not okay. So this is coffee with mm -hmm. modeling paste, and I have not indicated the kind of paste it was. So this may be some of our U.S.
trying to get this into some semblance of maybe like rocks. Yeah, the one that um, P was using earlier, the cherry blossom stencil, that is the five by seven. Yeah, okay. I should write this down what these are, right? No, I don't want to write we're gonna, on this, I'll mess it up. Yeah, I think we'll uh, kind of yeah. remember that stuff. I think you can figure that out. Uh, the, now, this is also coffee modeling paste, just a little bit different <laughs> flavor. <laughs> Maybe different vintage. <laughs> oh, and it, yeah, and it's, it's def definitely needing to be used because it's it's reached it's reached the putty stage where um yeah see that it's putty it, it really is so if you're mixing up your own things do small batches because most likely or unless you know mix enough for the project that you're doing but you can see you can get <laughs> little you know here's my rock stencil but over here, we've got some big rocks. Do you remember what coffee that was? What flavor of coffee mm -hmm. it was? Hell no. I don't even Sarah know. Sarah wasn't it's Colombian or French. It was probably more probably, Colombian. Probably um, whatever Costco had. Yeah, Costco coffee. Costco coffee in, in the brown paper wrapper. Uh huh. I think it's called like Azteca or something like that. Hey, I think it's perfectly. I like that coffee. It, you know, it, it's not shishi or anything but Deb it, it, that's a sort of yes <laughs> she wanted to know if you can add a bit of moisture to soften it up yes you can sweetheart did you want me to do that I don't think it's necessary is this the one that was really this one was really stiff okay actually what I need is I need um, the best thing to use is a fork and I just know that because I've done it before all right, now this is polymer medium gloss. What are you talking about? Polymer medium gloss. What? Oh, this this. Oh, are you talking about using some of your uh, yeah I'm yak talking. thing? Yeah, that's probably smarter because um, number one, it has adhesive properties. Yeah, I don't. It, it does, and it also it also is thick enough that I'm not going to be because if I want to use this as paste, I don't want to liquefy it to the point I'm not going to that it's ushy slushy. Yeah. Y'all understand ushy slushy. Well, this might be a little ushy slushier than I really wanted to, but here we'll see if we can. Whoa. Whoa. Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. All right, we're gonna clean that lid off. Yeah. And I'm just gonna kind of spread some of that about here. See what that does and you later. can see what happens with that as far as and if you you know what wipe her nose and whatnot before you put her lid on she's gonna be happier next time but you, you saw how I used the, the screwdriver to just go around the edge and gently pry it open don't want to get too carried away with that no I think and you see, got see there's there was the culprit right there busted lid busted lid it's not fun all right so I don't have a fork I'm not getting you one and Mariah's not gonna fetch me a fork and I don't think a pla I've got plastic forks in the door but it's it's that's not gonna be good enough where's my little knife here it is Okay, this might need to be a, have a, one of those softening up and setting spells. <laughs> it needs to sit and think about itself. Let the gap. I'm trying. I'm trying to get enough of the sur surfaces in there, kind of perforated, so that it can it can really kind of maybe soften it up and get down in there. We'll see if this works. But this is a good experiment because you know right now i can tell you that you know it, it's 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 getting some of that pigment out there and doing some kind of interesting uh-huh interesting things so there's that all is not lost just remember that was the uh coffee modeling paste and there's some kind of pigment i put in there i can't tell you what because that was a long time ago. and it was some kind of mixture a long long time ago Okay, what do we got left here? Sarah is enjoying this demo very much. Good. <laughs> so 
sometimes right. I feel like it's weird because it's like. Now, did we do glass beads already? No, I just did it on the lid. No, you did it with the brown, but you haven't done like you know legit this product. Is, yeah, this is this is the one that comes from Golden. <laughs> yeah, this is what you get from Golden. Not a weird homemade mix made with perhaps yeah. coffee and beads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I just keep moving. Move <laughs> scoot, 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 scoot. Okay, you can see it's pretty gloppy. You gotta, ha yeah, you gotta have something with some form to hold those beads in. You hear them scraping on there. Can you hear them crunching? Oh, I'm sure there's cat hair and dog hair and peas hair. You know, there's a little spit in it. Oh, absolutely. Now, this you can put through a stencil because the beads are small enough. Yeah. But again, so, you want to make sure that you get that stuff cleaned off of there because it, it holds it really, like, really well. Yeah. And remember, don't put it down your sink. Get Wipe it off with, with, ooh. You went around too many times or you didn't catch it right. That was weird. Oh, mm -hmm. I just, that wasn't, I didn't have it centered on. I don't know. It's looked like a faulty lid. Hmm. Hmm. We'll have to check that out later. Uh, Lynn asks if the bees will rub off after dry. If you spread it too thinly, yes, they will. They'll start to flake off. Yeah, but I, I think I, I've got enough here, mm -hmm. loft-wise and whatnot, that it's not going to do that. I yeah. don't, you know, I, I can't tell you 100%, but we'll see. This is, yeah, you know, this is what we're doing this for. All right, now I have used this before, but I wanted to get some of it onto this sheet just simply because I, I think it's, just, it's it's very cool stuff. And then I want to compare it with the silver. So maybe I'll do it up there at the top and where they can be right next to each other. Yes. I tried putting this through a stencil. It doesn't hold, it's too chunky for most things. I think if you had a really big um, design, and remember, I did finally get it through the tree thing, it's, but it was the tree thing that was the cutout, not the stencil. Right. It was just the big tree. Yes. Everybody remembers that, right? So this is the gold mica flake small. Yeah. Or large. large. Okay. There's yeah. not a now, huge difference I think between this small is and large. The silver, this is the small. So you'll be able to see the difference here. In the chunks. But both the large and the small are very chunky. And then once you go, it, it goes like, um, there's a coarse and then fine. And I think this is, I'm guessing, fine. No, that's small. Or coarse. No, that's small. Coarse is still like, coarse is almost like the, um, the uh, micaceous stuff. Oh. Basically, I mean, micaceous iron oxide is its own thing, but if you're comparing it to like the iridescent stainless steel coarse, it is similar in its what was the word? What was the word? Uh, re rheology, rheology, yes, look at us remembering the things. I'm looking at if you want to know why I'm being so sure and and, and knowing things. It's because, because of this. She's actually, <laughs> reading it off of a, a thing, and right I can there. feel it. <laughs> okay, so we've got regular impasto here, and I just I wanted to go ahead and put some of that down because it does create texture. Because it's a, and I'll I'll roll some of those small beads off. Can the beads be colored in advance? Now the beads themselves, I don't think anything will happen to them. Like I don't think they will absorb color. I we don't know that. But the paste or the, you know, kind of the, the medium that it's in probably could be. Yes. It doesn't tell you what, what they are. Those are just texture pebbles. I think they're some kind of pumice type. Those might actually take on some color because they are somewhat. I just don't, you know, I, I don't know how, how to do that. Like. But those little beads, I mean, I think they truly are their glass. Or probably plastic I don't know these here and these aren't glass I don't think we have glass ones these might be ceramic 
Mm. Oh, those. Yeah, the pebbles are either pumice or ceramic or some stone. Okay, like. now this is going to be kind of tricky here. Okay. Because I don't, I, I, I don't want them rolling around and getting in other stuff then, because they'll contaminate my. Yeah. <laughs> Experiments here that are Experiment, very. Experiment, you know, and I, I've been really careful about that. So I'm just going to put a few of them down here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and smash them in. There you go. And basically, that's kind of what I did. Remember the thing that I did? Yes, the next the, to the, the, the Buddha, goddess. Yeah, the Buddha thing for the book. I think you need to kind of fold over some of the stuff on top of it, and then kind of bring it around. That that would be my technique. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to. No. The reason I'm not is because I'm going to lose that. Oh, you want to see what, how what I did with my others to keep the beads from going places was I came in with the texture, um, the clear texture gesso, and painted it on top of them so that they stopped rolling about the cabin. So there's a good thing, Lynn, to kind of keep in mind. So yes, I mean, seal them in afterwards. Like, yeah. For maximum containment. <laughs> maximum containment. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, I think, well, I haven't used any black modeling paste here. But y'all know about that anyway, because we did, how many trees did we do with this stuff? Yeah, reference the, the beginning of the book making. Okay, let's. Maybe day eight. Yeah. That's when the trees were made. <laughs> this is, this is, this is really, you know, it's, it's, it's super cool stuff. If you spread it kind of thin and, and, and and swish it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. You can make wonderful textural designs in your paper. And it does go through the stencils pretty nicely. It just, it's... It, it does. It goes through the stencils quite nicely. It just shows up everywhere. Like, it, it, it it's a it's a good cleanup. <laughs> or maybe a bad cleanup. Ooh, that's cool, Marguerite. She was gifted some different sizes of grip from a sandblasting machine. Oh. Like that yeah. One? Okay. Work there we nicely. go. There's kind of our swatch page of different kinds of texture. I did want to, I've got one more little space here that I want to do. Um, I just want to grab some of this. Yeah, you got one more, one more polymer. opening. Polymer medium gloss. What paper did you do this all on? Which one did you choose for this? This is... I heard some balls rolling. I can't read your writing. Bocking. Bocking. Back, back. Bocking. Ford. Ford. Cold press. 140 pound, 300 GSM. And it's 9 by 12. And why, oh, it's... It's the blue one, so it is cold press. Cold press. It, it's a little finer. Well, and there's already texture on this, because remember, cold right. is like bumpy, so that in itself is texture. Okay, so this is the polymer medium gloss. and This I used earlier, so let's use something else. I remember the little yes. squishy round ones right there. And my guess is there's probably going to be a lot of like it, it evens out because that's really what it's supposed to do isn't it it's an evener yeah mm -hmm. so it's not going to hold off so it's not going to hold hold i don't know if this is or not and this hasn't been opened so that's kind of what is cool. this one called okay i can just tell you right now that this is going to hold yeah because it just stays up there. it doesn't this is the one that they they recommend using for um creating heavy body paint right or adding body to adding body to to your your paints or also using it as a uh, adhesive okay. on, on uh, to hold things yeah so a lot of the assemblage type people would like something like this because it helps like hold things in place and sets so we'll see if that maintains those little uh, Mountains. peaks, peaks mm -hmm. and lofts yes I don't you know can keep your little. <laughs> I, I, I would like to. I, I it won't 
after a while it will get stuck down and yeah. I'll have to tear it up but it's good to go for now all right Lisa there this was go. highly educational well good and then we'll come back to this like once everything dries we'll probably visit it more tomorrow at the beginning of the stream well we'll we'll re we'll look at it but we're also going to go ahead and do some watercolor on top of this okay you have Just, 30 minutes okay wow um what did i want to do next i mean you've textured the bejesus out of lots of things i have i have i have and, and that, i think that i've was made the, it through all everything goal. here because i've used the black mod modeling paste i've used small balls can y'all think of anything else that white we and fluffy <laughs> should texturize <laughs> um impasto i'm just getting rid of these okay what i would like to do because i think this would be interesting also all right you want me to come take i that? really wished i'd done two of these boards yeah but maybe I can do that later on this afternoon and, okay. and I'll have another one to work with. What I want to do is I want to add some of this stuff to my um, mixtures that I've got going here and see what it does. But I'd really like to have some of that texture to kind of help. Oh, and I can feel little glass beads. I told you, something rolled off. I heard or, them the ones from yeah and you don't you really you want to be careful with that they will make little indentations on your gel plate and mm -hmm. um yeah you don't want that you don't want that i like mean they'll dig in the, yeah that make a permanent thing there um i don't know i just i i really i want to play with these now I've got the airbrush medium. This is the other one that it says decreases clogging, reduces tack, and makes frisket work easier. Well, I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't. It's totally transparent. It's in. It, it leans toward matte. I think this is the opposite of texture. And it's extremely thin. This is the opposite of texture. This would be the opposite. This is that's not for today. Base. Suavecito, suavecito. So I'm going to pour some of this, this really still watery gonna... stuff into my, um, to see if they still craze. Because it's going to thicken them up ever so slightly, rather than just having it just water. Yes. And I think you're going to have less pigment breakdown. That is true. With that, it holds from it, what it, I, I understand from that whole right. that whole thing okay oh uh Sophia says and hello Sophia uh she uses the airbrush medium in her fine line bottles with acrylic love them for doing scribbles so basically making them into markers ink or ink yeah and making them inky inky well and you know what that's probably what's yeah, basically you know in a, in a roundabout way so just you know and i think even if you wanted to thin those up ever so slightly to like squeeze them through a little fine liner you could probably do that yeah for sure okay um what's next oh well i know what we need to talk about we need to talk about what we did yesterday on the gel plate okay because i promised you i would we, we didn't get anything off. Well, there you go. There's no script, y'all, to this whole yes. mastery thing. Here we go. We just Fran have loose today. ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Remember this one? I think this is such a gorgeous color of yellow. And it's Aurolian. Oh, so Trisha Dewey, she loves using the airbrush medium with paint. She also puts uh, two or three stainless steel little balls in there, BBs. Um, to help shake it up. Well, I, I don't. So have, really, you're just turning I, it I into need some fluid. Steel balls, Mariah. I know that's right. Small. Um. Well, we just need to take them out of my um, out of my spray bottles and stuff over here that are probably some of them need to just go. 
because they. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. Well, I am picking up some of my edge here. Remember, we talked about would be so nice, and Joshy was so cute. He said it's like a frame. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, look at that. It is kind of interesting how the where the cracks hit. And it really sort of stuck with the design in a way. It is pulling off, yeah. <laughs> because see, did you see that one piece that I that wasn't I have to, I have to glue it now, now I can't find it. The paper even smells like vanilla. I just oh, because the new plate. Yeah, here, Slip. here, here it is, right here. Oh yeah. Okay, I would say that this the this particular paint. Mm -hmm. And remember, I did I did brayer it out pretty thin. Pardon me. So I'm not sure I would, I, but I love the finish of it. Look mm -hmm. how matte it is as opposed to all. Can you see some of the shiny going on out there with the. Uh, oh, yeah. There. That was a great wiggle. Perfect. So you can see where we use the metallics in the long haul. Oh, I think this is really, really pretty. Mm-hmm. And that's just a good thing to remember. I don't think we knew about this yellow until they said oh, it. Oh, I did. I've never, never heard of it. Yeah. And then I don't, yeah, I've got the Hansa. Oh, remember, we need to get something down on the Hansa yellow plate. Well, this is so interesting, this stuff that's left behind. Look at that. Well, that'll be perfect for some, you know, visual texture. It will be beautiful for visual texture. All right, put it back on the rack and let's move along. All right, Mariah. Oh, see, this was lacking yesterday. A little bit of, you know, cracking the whip on her. <laughs> Josh, she's a lot hey, sweeter. <laughs> did you all see the shininess of the lines here? Yes. It okay. can, that's why I said you gave it a good, perfect wiggle. There was love upon it. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of plates to get some stuff down on. Uh huh. I think. Look how gorgeous this is. It is gorgeous. I just love it. Awesomeness. I just love it. I don't want to put anything on top of that and mm -hmm. mess it up. Okay, look at how cool this looks. Mm -hmm. Now, this isn't the side you're going to get. No. Remember we talked about, do we want to put the flowers down first, or do we want to put the other one down? <laughs> so we decided, I think, on both, and that's why I went with the yellow. But I think this is going to be nice either way. Yes. And what we're going to do here, since we probably won't get to pull this anyway, is we're going to use some of our wonderful golden white is the titanium white is it all open um i don't i think it probably is mariah i, I don't I, know that yeah. for certain oh lynn would like us to give away that yellow print that yellow print. i tell you what lynn if she's willing to give it away i'll send it to you yeah i all right, here, give it to me, and I'm putting Lynn's name on it. Well, and you're going to have to not, winner, winner, chicken not dinner. fold it. I won't fold it. I might fold it a little. Lynn, I told her not to fold I'll it. I'll put it in one of the big packages. Now, okay, I'm not sending Sophia it to you says, until, like, next time you place an order or whatever. Sophia but I'll, says, I'll fold it in the office. I have a, a row. A row. Oh, it does smell amazing. A row. Ariolan. Ariolan. Areola. Ariolan in watercolor, but she's never seen yep. it in acrylic. Well, there you go. Golden has it. And this may this this is titanium white. This is some that Golden sent me, and it is open. <laughs> but like I said, I don't think it's going to make a hill of beans difference here. Hill of beans. It does smell amazing. I mean, Doesn't it's like it? very noticeable. I'm sure it'll wear off, but it is fab. A 
Okay, so wait, I know you said something about the titanium. Is it open or is it not? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's open. And not just the jar. And, <laughs> yeah, they're both now open. <laughs> And closed. <laughs> now closed. Oh, good. Here we go. Look at this. Naked brayer. Oh, look at that. But I kept getting too much paint on yesterday, Mariah. Did you notice that when you were um, watching the video? I I didn't... I, I knew there was a struggle with paint, but I didn't know if that was due to the you know difference of it being Viscosity. open. Viscosity. Yes, because it is very different. It, it is totally different, and you can see right now, I, I'm getting those ripply, ripply things going out there, and I have a feeling I'm getting picking up. Oh, and look, you can see the, the design through it. That's always cool. I've got some... Your coffee's in the way. And then, um, so when I went back and I did watch, and then I renamed the stream and put a new picture on there and all that, but um, it was funny because what really emerged as kind of a cool thing and I this is where I wish I would have been there because I probably would have caught on to it and been able to explain it more so in in the stream itself but one of the you know yes the opens take longer to dry but what advantage does that give you well she got awesome brayer offs because like the paint isn't drying like that she got awesome flop offs onto the brayer offs which is not something we usually get and how half the time we are trying to get it on and off of the paper so it's not sticking so those are the advantages of understanding your paint and yep. if you do have open or and you know there are other paints or you can do you can put those additives like the different kind of gax and things like that to extend it to add retarder to it to make it more open to stay wet longer. Stays wet longer. And I'm just using this white because I don't have a lot of white. I'm very happy to get this white. And oh. <laughs> open. 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 Still wet. <laughs> and remember how I got this one. With the little rubbing. Was wiping it off. See, oh I watched. Gosh, stickies. Just I everywhere. watched. I didn't leave a comment though. I did like the stream. Did you? I did. A lot of people said that it was informative. Mm-hmm. Well, it's something a little different, too. I mean, being able to... Yeah. You don't... Especially... I think, you know, every once in a while, you'll use one of those paints. So, it isn't like, you know, you key in on it as much. But when you utilize something all throughout a stream, it becomes more apparent about the difference between that and, like, what you normally yes do yeah it it, it provides a contrast mm -hmm. and like i said you know using these jars i've i've i've, I've seen them they sell they sell, sell stuff in jars and i've, I've mm -hmm. just wondered you know what would be the advantage to that and someone said well you know you can Thank take you, these and put them in a squeezy bottle so that they're yeah. easier to and i'm like well yeah of course you could do that then we gotta acquire some squeegee bottles and make all that happen. We really need we need helpers. Team of now these white brayer offs are not terribly interesting, <laughs> but they could be creating texture. Yeah, there, sneaky texture. Bye, Yanka. Thanks for hanging. Those of you that have come in, do say hello in the chat. We still got 20 minutes here. She's gonna be pulling these print. Well, adding a lot of um, pole layers because these are going. She she has used the titanium white, with um, which is open. There now you can really see the design. That's so pretty. And that's so that there really isn't any other way to get that other no. than what we did. So this is a absolutely wonderful way to use your open paints if you don't you know if you, you get some and you if there's open mm -hmm. paints that are on sale and you're going well you know golly do I really want and yeah. and you just you know have to go ahead and we're going to get some good mm -hmm. line things going on here veiny things <laughs> and Mo is dropping links um to the different uh stencils and things that are being used so you can always click on those in the chat if you have access to the chat now, we still want y'all to come back and leave comments, even though we're not, you know, pulling comments for giveaways. 
So yeah. I would love it if y'all came back. I am very behind on responding and pulling, but that's kind of my goal this afternoon. Or this evening. Or maybe tomorrow afternoon. Or tomorrow morning. Because <laughs> tomorrow's stream will be at a regular time, which is 3 p.m. Okay, I think what we decided to use on this, I don't know, we talked about what to put over the yellow. And it never dried, and pardon me, it dried enough to do anything with it. Mm -hmm. Did we decide we wanted this one? No, or I think this I'm, one. I think that one. Or do we want this one? Now these are the diamonds and dots. That's where she was like, I know these are called diamonds and I think she said diamonds and holes. Which well, is you hilarious. Know what <laughs> might be kind of fun is to put the tulips over the Geometrica Flores. Hey, whatever, lady. Oh, look at you, Mo. Thank you. What? Mo's been busy. She put together a little post there that shows all the times and with the colors. Thank you, you, Mo. I didn't do that. I didn't prep that. Now, this is what's so interesting <laughs> about this, this stencil. I just want to talk about this okay, for a minute. Okay, you just talk about it. When I'm looking at this like <laughs> this, I'm seeing the lines. And I'm seeing more of these little puffy shapes. Mm-hmm. But when I actually put it down here, uh -huh. I see the flower. Yes. I don't see the negative space. So, here's what I'm saying. If I use this say as a... It. Am I being loud? No, I'm like, you just say it. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Flop that mother off. Whoa! Open because paints. then you're going to get the lines. And that's why some of those brayer offs were so cool and why she was getting such a good impression off of them. Yeah, remember this little jobber? There's the same leaf leaf flower petal design mm -hmm. there. And remember this was that blue, really pretty blue. And it just kind of turned into that tealy green because we pulled it with the gold. I was afraid. I was afraid, Eddie. <laughs> Isn't this wonderful? It's tr I think it's really trippy. I, I, yeah, but it is very... Because these rep repetitive geometric patterns kind of do that to you. And depending on how high contrast it is, it really, yeah. really okay, gets to I'm you. I'm just thinking I want to use this medium-sized one. Okay. Because I really... I like this. Mm -hmm. And I think it, it gives nod back to yes. the original purpose of this this one also. Yes. Tom Bien. Tom Bien. Okay. Um, we're going to use oh, bye, Pinka. some of the... Or hi. Um, hi, bye. Who's, somebody's leaving. Somebody's coming in. And we don't care because we know it's, it's going to it's going to have to dry anyway. Yeah. We wouldn't be able to do something else to it today. Right. right. Everybody's on that same page with me so that we can... Um, Bring in a new paint that we haven't <laughs> haven't seen before. I like that idea, Deb. I'll I'll have to keep that one in mind for something. Okay, so here we go. This is what it is. I think this looks very springy. Yes. And I'm getting over here to where it's going to tell me. I don't think that one's open. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't have it pasted on the side have, there. Usually, it has the yeah. open right here. So this may not be open. I would like to get some of this in a smaller container because this is really. Hey, they would fit Eddie's bird, stuff bird since we did some. We keep to the Spanish stuff on Eddie's. Oh yeah, verde. <laughs> Loose. Flora is también. More flowers, please. <laughs> also, okay. this is this is heavy body. Mm hmm. Really nice. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous paint? Oh the, my gosh. This is like, um, oh, this is like, lick them up. It'll lick them up. Uh, surgical. Like, uh, you know, the scrubs. Scrubs green. Uh, what color is it called, actually? 
It's called Permanent Green Light. Vert Permanent Clair. Okay. Again, a little bit much on that, but I wanted to make sure we in got the down into the orifices. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have to, you know, give myself a shoulder problem and, here. and Darcy, I don't know how many times you said orifices. I lost count at like 10 or 11, then I forgot to put it in the, in the comments. Because <laughs> when you were talking about it, it's like, then there was like, you know, three or four more, which was hilarious. Well, the, the smaller the orifice, the more difficult it is to get your product <laughs> down into it get and down effectively. On it. Just simply because it, it makes perfect sense. I've you got just, this. You need to just get some paper. Really, paper really. Paper. Yeah, okay. Just, I, I just need to figure this out, folks. It, yeah. it will happen. And we don't really care because we're not going to. Oh, she's going to create texture with this here full because. <laughs> About. <laughs> I'm getting this out here because I somehow just don't anticipate green on green as being too terribly uh -huh. interesting. Although we did do some interesting uh, metallic on metallic the other day. Yes, I enjoyed that. And I was like, good gal, of course, yeah, I miss, I missed the stream where all the gold's getting used. <laughs> I, I was really on a gold. Yeah, you were. Um, Oh, yeah. yeah. You probably would have felt like I felt yesterday. Yeah, this this is regular. Yeah, because you hear that stick and how quick. Uh -huh. And how quickly I got that off of there. Now, this one we'll, we'll use. Okay, let's turn it over and see what we've got. Because I think this is going to be really Oh, that looks cool. Trippy. I like Maybe it. pull it with pink. Oh, that would be awesome. I love that idea. Because it might turn the flowers a little bit orangey, but that'll still be great. Yes. They will become orange. I tell you, Eddie's um, flowers, Geometrica Flores, Geometrica, and the diamonds and dots are good friends. Yes. And I'm, okay. Enough. All right, you got 10 minutes. I'm 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 getting on it. I think you should do copper dots on this. Oh, that would be good. Let's do, and let's because I really I love that that <laughs> the I, this iridescent coffee fine mm -hmm. was fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna put this down over here because I think this is gonna be a good will be a good flop off onto this. Mm -hmm. Friends, and we're going to use. I like my friends in low places. Because the then you can slip on down to the oasis. Or should we? I really, really like this, but I'm afraid that some of that green is going to come off here, and I, I don't know <laughs> yeah. that I need need that on here. Okay, we're just going to go with yeah. this. I like the bigger holes. <laughs> yes. So this is iridescent coffee, coffee, copper. <laughs> I was like, why do you keep saying coffee? Eyes, but see those <laughs> yes. peas? Yes. Yeah. Don't be looking for coffee fine. It's copper. No. This copper. And again, this is pretty. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's going to be plenty. I don't know for sure. I'm still just. I know it feels a little. It feels a little light, but you, you went heavy with the green. I went heavy with the green. <laughs> Make sure I don't have any residuals. Yeah, it probably is going to show up a little. Kind of depends on how much brayering one has to do. It hey, also, I think that was really that was close to perfect. That was. Maybe just a teensy tiny bit more because I'm really having to work mm -hmm. to get it into some of the. And at this stage, you do want to be careful because you don't want your stencil pulling up what you already have on there. Oh, a little blotchy. That's 
kind of interesting. You better pull that up, lady. Hey. Did you hear that? That little... That means it's sticking. It was drying. If that was a brand new stencil, yeah, that would have been too it slow. It would have been a mess. <laughs> but I think you would have also, if it was a brand new stencil, gotten a little tighter to find design but that's okay I think that that's where that little bit more paint would have filled those yes, out a little it, bit more yes because it didn't get down into some of them yep. that's why it, the edges look kind of it's just such a crazy balance it really honestly is and there's you just have to play with it long enough that you can get a handle on it alright let's see what else we've got here Ooh, and here, now see, this is the same thing. We noticed this when we pulled it off, that it looked kind of grainy. Mm -hmm. I think that had more to do with my brayer. Because remember my brayer, uh, I hadn't... I noticed you mentioned rolled, that. ...rolled it off, mm -hmm. but I completely, and hopefully, I've really been trying to pay attention and, and do that. You don't have to clean your brayer off, but you don't want to leave those ripply... Because it, it, it sets up and then it just it sets gets up more and all and more you're doing more. is just adding a, an impression to your um, yeah your paint. I don't want to use that. Mm. On it did there. have a Louis Vuitton feel to it. Let's use some of this um, iridescent bright gold on this. I, I love that with the red. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. There's one of them that's kind of Yeah, I saw soupy. that. One of them's kind of soupy. <laughs> little knife work, you know. Wipe that off on my... That could be textured. So that I can, you know, have a little sparkle to my mm -hmm. brayer off here. Now that feels like a, probably a little much, but... You weren't going to layer this up, huh? Um, no. I, I'm just going to go ahead and... No, I could. I could do this with the subtractive process. You could. You yeah, it works way too much paint there. Ooh, I like that, though. It's going to be kind of trippy. It's, it's leaving more of Ooh, a... That's cool. See that? Uh -uh. Suggestion. Mm -hmm. It's a wink. This is actually a good thing to do on that bottom layer. This isn't going to show up so much. Well, it is going to show up in the negative space. But are you seeing what I'm seeing mm -hmm. here? No, the, Are y'all seeing what we're seeing? I'll try to get it up closer. There you go. Good job. A wink and a nod. Mm -hmm. That's pretty nice. We'll see what happens with that. Now that'll get another pull layer. Yes. Absolutely. All right, great. We've got this one out here. And again, you can see some of the the textures left into the paint. And that was the brayer. Because you can tell that that yeah. wavy kind of business that happens sometimes if you are pushing around too much paint. And that could have started happening prior, but I think that utilizing the open paints probably exacerbated the... Yes. Situation. I, I think that that is that is that is very true, very true. Because it was like as the stream went on, it became more and more of an issue. That you know, yeah. I, and I finally I remember I had to change. I changed. Yeah, you were like, all right, I'm getting a different. This is briars because I'm very happy that I watched the stream because yeah, I would have been. Have, you have reference. To I do. <laughs> what we were doing there. Okay, let's, um... You can go with some of that Payne's Gray. 
I really enjoyed that. Well, what I discovered about the Payne's Gray is, and I, I should, let's go ahead and just bring that one in. That's the one, remember the one that I, Mm -hmm. I think I've got. Okay, this is Payne's Gray. Oh. And this is Payne's Gray. Maybe Lynn. Um, so Lynn wanted to, so on, that could be kind of mark making. It, it could be, and I noticed somebody in the stream yesterday, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who you are, made the point of if any paint is can be transparent if you brayer it out long enough. That, to a certain extent, is true. But what happens before it starts getting this transparent layer that you see right here, it's very right. even, you're going to start picking up paint with your brayer. Yeah. So... Yes, that is that is certainly true, but I think you have a better chance of getting even mm -hmm. coverage with the golden open if you want that super transparency yeah. that we're getting right here. Because these are two; these are exactly the same color. Mm -hmm. One's just left, you know. Yeah, and this is where I put the put um, the color down, put the stencil down, and picked up color. Yeah, uh, I tell you what, Lynn, maybe whenever we start like kind of collaging and putting together, um, our thoughts were to probably just collage and put together ATCs because size-wise it it's just an easier thing to do. And we kind of have some geared up from the other day. Uh, so I think that doodling on those would be pretty fun. And we could utilize maybe some of these prints because she was saying like that last one or whatever would be fun to doodle on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, actually, hey, Cheryl. you can, you know, like doodle on any of them. Okay, I'm going to pull this with white. Okay. Now, there's already, are there already two layers on this one or just the one? And no, there's, there was um, uh, some stuff. Yeah, I think I'm mixing. I like this. And I'm happy that you're using the white because I think that that's just going to give you the best show. Me too. Okay, I'm, I'm going very light. I, I, I'm probably going to go back the opposite direction, you know, and not have enough on there for a while till I figure out how much I need to get out there. Okay. On the paper. I don't want to mess that up. Where's my green one that I don't really care about? Oh, is that the other side of that? No. You got two minutes. Uh, and then I'm kind of wondering, should I come back and switch out the thumbnail? Or should I leave these, like, with the thumbnails that I created for the series? Thoughts? Anyone? There's some funky stuff in there. One of those little balls. Don't even make it. They're like glitter, but a little more evil. Really are. Because all I right, think they're now hard you to can see. see. You can see that. <laughs> oh, <Open, laughs> leaves <laughs> that more. Um, I had tissue paper cut down to size I could use it. I like that. Okay, cool. But we can still, you can still um, use this paper to collage with. Ooh, that's pretty. Hopefully it'll all come up. Because that's some crazy layers of different things. Yeah. At various stages, so. It always leads a, leads a little uh, extra intrigue of what's going to come up <laughs> and what will stay behind yes yeah. is tape going to be required <laughs> i love it's that it's very though. dimensional and it will even remain so when it's pulled uh -huh. because you will see that oh it looks like the all right you know the rusty stuff is floating on top of that maybe a tiled floor oh yes in an old diner. Yeah, uh, or um, some you know. wonderful stuff from 
you know, like fabric. Now here's yeah. another one that can you see that little bit on there? Yeah, but um we're we're at time. Oh. So thank you all so much for hanging out day one. We have achieved texture and we will even revisit it tomorrow and see what it does creating just visual texture. So we'll be back tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out. Bye guys. Bye.